Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just letting you know that a new Halloween Kills mask is available to buy. I just finished this now. I've sealed the paint. It's ready to go. And here it is on the mannequin. Six foot three. Looking absolutely terrifying. And very authentic, is that the word? Movie really accurate? One of them. Let me just step towards him and hope that he doesn't come to life and reach out and grab me because he does look very real but this one is available right now folks they usually go pretty quick so if you're interested you can dm me on instagram or email me at deank333 at hotmail.co.uk the usual price 410 pounds posted in the uk or anywhere in the world 430 pounds shipped and I don't imagine this guy hanging around too long, but it is coming up to Christmas, so I understand that you guys might have your money tied up in presents for folks. Well, you might be a bit of a Scrooge and might not go for the whole Christmas thing, and maybe you've got the money to buy this and you're going to treat yourself. Who knows? I don't know. Whatever the case may be, it's here, it's available, and it's a beast. Look at that. Details. In the burnt side. Probably my favorite burnt side that I've done so far. I think I always say that, but it just worked out really, really nicely. I tried a slightly different technique and it just came out really good. And I started doing this little thing where um, I noticed in certain screenshots or certain behind the scenes or whatever, um, these little holes here in the mask and around the nostrils as well. When he was hiding in the basement at the end of 2018 and at the beginning of Halloween Kills, the smoke and the soot must have got up into the mask and started to come out of these holes here and the nostrils so there's little traces of smoke and soot coming out of there if you can see it rising up through the cracks you've got a subtle bit of blood around that eye there and uh, the hair is super crispy on this side some super crisp action and the usual blood spray kind of shoots up onto the ear from where Karen shot him at the end of 2018 uh, really nice shape to the hair as well and yeah man if you get yourself a mannequin and put this on there with the coveralls it's just such a presence as I step back here I mean it really does look like Michael Myers is standing in front of me and it's six foot three as well which is the accurate height for James Duke Courtney or if you don't have a mannequin or the coveralls you can get yourself one of these kitchen towel holders on Amazon and take a good look at that and try and get the exact same one I'm showing you here. It's really cheap uh, and perfect. It's black. You didn't have to spray it or anything. It's just perfect for displaying these masks. You get, you know, if you've got like three masks, get three of these and have them all in a row. It looks really, really professional. Um, but, you know, a life-size mannequin with the coveralls is pretty much the way to do it, folks. So I'll just turn him to the side so you can get a good look at the burns and then also at the unburnt side as well but yeah he is done just in time for Christmas all right so getting a little look at the burnt side there you go get a bit closer All right, now the unburnt side. You get some really nice cracks here. Okay, folks, so that's it. I hope it goes to a good home. So far, they all have, and that makes me feel very happy because I work really hard on them, and I always get attached to them. Whenever I finish one, I think, is this the one I should keep for myself? And uh, But I always end up selling them because that's what I do. So it's best not to get too attached. One day I will do one for my, for my, you know, my own collection. But this one is definitely up for grabs. So once again, DM me on Instagram if you're interested. That's DeanKnight333. Or email me, uh, that's more direct, at DeanK333 at hotmail.co.uk. And once again, that's £410 posted in the UK and you will receive this beast or £430 shipped anywhere in the world and y'all shall receive the beast. 
the beast. Sorry, I've been watching what we do in the Shadows movie. Um, so yeah, there he is. Proud of this one. Proud of all of them, but this one turned out really nice. And it's a really good um, pull, as in it holds its shape really well. So if you do decide to just display it on a kitchen towel holder, uh, you don't need to do any tricks to get it to keep its natural shape. It does keep its shape very well. And that's just a quick look at it on the kitchen towel holder just to show you, yes, it does hold its shape. There's nothing in there to uh, trick it. You know, it's, uh, it's a really good um, shape holding mask. I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek at me H40 that I've been working on for weeks on and off. I mean, you know, very rarely do I actually work on it, to be honest. I keep uh, just taking a big step back. The H40 is probably my favorite mask, like I've said before, and I really want to do my own copy and get it exactly the way I want it. So uh, it's quite dark at the moment, but I'll just give you a little cheeky peek. Got some really nice, uh, nasty discoloration. But I'll show you this one uh, in more detail later. And uh, yeah. So drop a like on the video, folks. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon next to the subscri yeah, subscri <laughs> subscription button. That way you'll get email notifications every time I upload a new video. I'll do maybe one more mask before the new year, maybe. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I was taking a break for Christmas, but then I thought I might as well just crank one more of these out. So here it is. Maybe the last one of 2021. I'll sign it and date it like I always do inside the neck there. So to make it official. But yeah, man, whoever gets this one is getting a really good kills mask. So I urge you to act fast. Alrighty. It's an absolute monster. Cannot be tamed. Alright. I'll see you soon, folks. Get in touch. Get the mask.